Well, beam lift, fundamentally, if you stood back and looked at it, you say this had changed at all. This stuff was back in the early part of the 20th century, and we're still doing it the same way. Well, the broad view isn't correct. There is a lot of new research, new thought, ways that people have worked to make the process better. And we want to marry that in to the older ideas, some of which are still valid. Beam lift is just applicable to so many wells. It's widely used. It's a technology that really is sort of taken for granted. So one of the points of this book is to remind the readers the best practices that sometimes get swept under the rug or ignored. Um, yeah, Dr. Podio and I, we felt like the beam lift handbook might be appropriate now because there have been some advances in technology that if you followed the scientific papers, you could pick it up individually. But we were not aware of a place where it was all in one reference book. We also felt like there was an opportunity here to make a reference book in a little different style. The style is broken sort of into two broad categories. One is where a practitioner might go to try to pick up details about individual problems or design that they were having. The rest of the book, though, breaks it into the components and the individual study of each component, the theory behind it, et cetera, et cetera. So we thought that was an interesting and unique approach to this handbook. Well, I think the future for beam lift will be to continue to make incremental improvements in the technology. I think we will see new, better, hopefully, pumps. I think we will see more robust sucker rods. I think it's possible that we could see some real advances in instrumentation um, and control of the device.